Do you ever get stuck wondering what to post on Instagram? I know I do, and I sometimes wish I had a little assistant who could maybe offer up suggestions and give me some ideas. Well, it turns out there's a website that can help you with that. I've got AI tools that help me write blog posts, summarize other people's blog posts, turn them into videos to share socially. So this is a really interesting take on how AI can help you be more productive. So the site's called predis.ai and when you log in, you'll see your content library. So these are little things that I've been experimenting with. So when you log in, you'll see your content library. This shows you posts that have been generated. You link your Instagram accounts and you can have different Instagram accounts depending on the plan you've taken. If we say create a post, here's where the magic happens. So you type in a description about your company, yourself, your business, your Instagram accounts. And then down the bottom here, you've got some post themes. So promotional, educational, by the, behind the scenes, and then you simply click generate for posts. At this point, this is where the AI magic happens. It takes that description and goes away, has a look at stock photography and comes up back with not just a caption, but also a suggested image. This can take a few moments, but there you go. It's now written the, there's four, there's one down here as well, but you can see the three main ones. At the top of each post, it has the idea category, so miscellaneous, educational, promotional, behind the scenes. And here's what it's trying to make a post about. So an easy way to upload videos on YouTube, behind the scenes of me taking a video, a camera set up while you're filming. And so this one's actually come back with a camera picture. Below each suggested image is a suggested caption. So it's now done all those that only took a few moments if this was something i wanted to post i'd then say edit post and what's nice about this is it gives you a few different creative options so if that's not quite right and i prefer this one i simply tick this and that pops up there then it's got a suggested caption as well so if i go through to captions again it's used ai to generate not just one but i've got a couple and then i can go through and select hashtags as well so again, this is now running its little AI algorithm. And what we find is it not just suggests the hashtags, but gives you data about them. So if you are someone who's into, into Instagram and likes to know the data behind each hashtag, how often it's being used, this will be very useful. So here we have lots of different hashtags going on here, and it should base it on what is in the description. So these aren't quite right for me, as you can see, babies, newborn, what have you. So if I go back to the caption, let's have a look what's going on here. Let's pick this one. And now let's run the hashtags again. Okay, so now we're getting a bit better. We've got more photography ones coming up. So you can use those. You can add your own hashtags as well in the captions and then rerun hashtags and that will help the AI a little bit more. And then under the suggestions tab, depending on how big your account is, it will have a look and give you some more suggestions and information. So ideal day to post this is Sunday. While I've been having a little look at this for my personal Instagram page, I don't think it's quite the right fit because I prefer to actually take pictures of gadgets and technology. Where I am using this though is a new venture I'm currently working on called The Course Network, which is actually a website based on a previous AppSumo deal where we were trying to do an educational website. And this has been very useful for me. You might notice that some of these have kind of a, a nice blue color to them and seem to be matching the logo and some aren't. And that's because at the start of the week, they didn't have anything to do with branding on it, but they've just today released a new feature, which is the brand details. So I've got the course network name and I've got the colors and there's also a font color if you want. And there's also a font and you can also add your logo. And what that means is if I go to create a post, exactly the same process as before, I hit generate for posts, but this time where it notices colors, it will try and add my brand colors and also my brand logo to the post. So this time the Instagram account is about an online course platform. So we've got different types of posts coming up now. So you can see based on that one line, it's coming up with very different infographics, how students can budget and all this kind of stuff. 
And if I just scroll down, these are some of the early ones I've just been testing out. So you can see it's now branded it in my colors and there's the logo. I have given the developers some feedback that it'd be great if it knew when to use a dark logo and when to use a light logo. They say that is on the roadmap. They are very active. They're looking for feedback. So if you do give this a spin and have some ideas, then do get in touch. So you can see it's starting to generate them now, starting to populate and look, there's the logo and here's the colors. So that's going to save me a bit of time. But if for some reason you do want to edit this, maybe the text isn't quite right. It does have a built-in editor with access to templates and photos and you can go in you can edit all the text and that's the same for any of these i can pick any of these and do an edit on that particular creative at this point once you've got your creative you can hit download and you can download that to your computer and then maybe fire it over to your phone if you want to share it via your mobile or we come over to the content calendar Every time you generate posts, it will add them to the content calendar unless you take them off. So you can see it's doing one for every day of the week. And then if I just head to a download button, just slightly off screen, if I say export, I can export a date range and I can do it in the format for a post scheduler. So Publer, Social B, Social Monials, Metricool. These are all previous AppSumo deals. And I'm sure if you have your own different scheduler that's not listed here, but you know that it has a CSV import, you'll be able to get in touch with the devs and they will sort it out if you give them a sample. In the long run, I think they're aiming to have this be a real scheduling tool that will generate them. And then once you've approved them, it will post them to your account. I also think they're looking to add additional social media networks. There's an area called Com Competitor analysis, I haven't had much of a play around with this yet, but it looks like you can manage your competitors by adding Instagram handles and it will then compare your posts to theirs. At the time of making this video, it's currently on AppSumo for a lifetime price. And for that, depending on how many codes you get, you can have at least 45 posts per month. So you can easily get a month's worth of posts, one a day with just one code and that refreshes each month. So that can be very helpful. And I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this with my new Instagram account and seeing what it can do. I'll put an affiliate link below to this particular page and I'll also put a link to the main website. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video.